What's up guys, Justin from JusticeGood.com here, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make your text interact with your photo in Photoshop. So this is a really useful effect if you want to place your text in between an object in your photo, or behind something, or anything like that. So the first thing you want to do is, of course, have your photo open and ready, and go ahead and grab the text tool. So use whatever font and size you want, but one that works well for your image and your image size. So this is the one I'm going to use. And then write out whatever word or writing you want to write out. So I'll go ahead and write mine out here. Um, let's just pretend like this is a advertisement or something. Kind of like a got milk, but this photo looks like this lady is nervous. So we'll use that. And then I'm going to highlight it all and make it white just so it's easier for you guys to see. And what I want to do is make this text go behind the woman's legs here, and but not behind the couch. So go ahead and grab your original photo layer, and we're going to right click and duplicate that layer. And then we're going to grab the duplicated layer and place it on top. So now we have our text sandwiched in between our photo, but we don't want everything to show. We just want this portion to show. So what we'll do is I'm going to zoom in a little bit here so we can work and then just grab whatever selection tool that you have that is your favorite. So either the pen tool or the polygonal lasso tool. I'll just use the polygonal lasso tool here just because this isn't too complex of an object to cut out. And for the working mode I'm going to have it here set to add to selection because I'm going to make two separate selections for each leg. So the cool part is I don't have to cut out the entire lady. I don't have to do all this work up here because I already know that I want my text to be placed in this general area. So all I'm going to cut out is this area right here and give myself a little bit of working room. So I'll start right here and I'll just click away and try to make an accurate selection. And again you can use any cutout method you'd like. Really the pen tool would probably be the most accurate. But I'm going to go ahead and cut this area out and I'll see you guys when I reach the end. Alright so I've reached the end here and as you can see I didn't have to be too specific and I didn't have to cut out the entire object. So we're working just as hard as we have to, not harder. And once you have your selection you want to go ahead and go to layer, layer mask, and choose reveal selection. So that's going to hide everything else but our selection. And there you have it, our text is hidden behind our image. So you can see if I click on the text layer, I can grab my move tool, and I can move it around as much as I want, and it stays behind the object. Now of course if I move it up ab above the layer, it doesn't work anymore, but that's why you place your text where you want to first, and then you just cut out enough of the object to give yourself some working space. So there's the final effect. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please leave me a thumbs up, tell me, give me a comment, tell me what you thought. And of course, subscribe to my channel to stay tuned for more Photoshop tutorials. So once again, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.